So the cadet Hondas line up. They're the only class that has a standing start. The drivers line up two by two. We did have a problem out on the warm-up lap for one of the uh, drivers. Have to get a number check on that. But it's Oliver Behrman in cart two. On the front row with Josh McLean on the outside of row one for Global Karting. McLean gets a great start and cuts across the front of the pole man to take the lead into turn number one. And oh, the side of the trap there is Arvid Lindblad. That is the Ollie Rowland Motorsport driver. And I think what must have happened. Oh, and uh, Behrman, meanwhile, what must have happened there is Behrman tried to send him at the inside of uh, Josh McLean going into turn three and it was not appreciated. and. Uh, did he make that move stick? No, he's now in the danger zone of losing the second place to Lucas Ellingham and Daniel Ginchard. So it's a global karting. One, two, three at the moment. It's going to be a global karting. One, two, three, four. The, the black and yellow express. Mike Spencer will be uh, secretly quite pleased as he watches his four young cadet Honda drivers occupy the first four places. McLean, Ellingham. The number 29 of Harvey Charter is having a great start. He's up into the top four. And the other one is Daniel Ginchard in the 54. Now, Ginchard is down in my program as a privateer. But he's got the graphics kit, so... Might and uh, a good opening lap. Josh McLean. Well, McLean... He had an up-and-down day yesterday. A fourth and an 18th. Tenth in the immediate standings were Oliver Behrman and there's number 12 of Koska Irfan. So the two Virtus Motorsport teammates who had things all their own way yesterday. They got first and second. They pushed each other away. Uh, there's a penalty for Behrman in one race. So Koska Irfan actually has inherited the win in race number one. And he's leading the intermediate standings ahead of Alfie Rigby in the number 38 cart. And Alfie Rigby, the BRK cart. And Rigby is the green and white track. Uh, Chassis in ooh, eighth or ninth place at the moment, and there's a battle between McLean and Ellingham. Now, are they going to play nice, or is Mike Spencer going to have to ground them for misbehaving later on? We'll see. Ginchard in third. Well, McLean's lead has been reduced to nothing, and of course, in Cadet Honda, the slipstream effect is more marketable, more marketed than any other class. And uh, if you're out on your own, you're a sitting duck. And that in fourth place is the number 95 of Sonny Smith. Now, David Bell Chambers, who's the Next Gen Motorsport team boss, he, uh, he did say that you're going to hear a lot of this, uh, this Sonny Smith, and he wasn't wrong. And uh, certainly, Bell Chambers knows his driver coaching. He uh, has a good egg when he sees one. And uh, 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 Lucas Ellingham gets a warning flag. And Behrman now fighting back. So the front runners, oh, and somebody runs a bit wide there. That was Sonny Smith. and. Uh, Ellingham finds himself back in the seventh place now. Head of Ginchard, the top two, four, six, seven have pulled away with the number 29. You can see that he's leading the second group of carts. That is Harvey Charter with Rigby behind him. Then it's Theo McCouris, Oliver Gray, Archie Brown, Tristan Rennie, Justin Brewer, and the rest. Now, poor old Arvid Lindblad is uh, standing at the side there, the number 23, and I think what happened was he saw Dan Parker from Zipcart arrive and thought, uh-oh. Everything is recorded. <laughs> Best dash. And uh, so he goes, Dan, you've got to buy me a new zip card. Oh. <laughs> Behrman back in front. So, Oliver Behrman. Oh, and uh, somebody runs a bit wide on the banking there. And that was uh, Behrman who ran wide or was forced wide. Didn't quite see the camera angle, wasn't that great, but he certainly decided to scarper up the banking. And that has changed the running order considerably. Oliver Greenall, who wasn't even in the top seven a minute ago, he's now popped up in the second place. Greenall, that was a privateer driver, a Project One chassis. 
again, it's really good to see some of the privateers, or however private they class as privateers, they've got privateer on their entry form, so I can only assume they are. They can compete against the teams like Virtus Motorsport, Global Karting, and you've got the teams in Cadet Racing. And yet, you work really hard. If you and your mum and your dad, or your brother, or your uncle, or aunt, or something like that, you can compete at the highest level, as Oliver Greenall is shortly now. I have to say, um, Mr. Lindblad would do well to move himself back into the marsh. He really is turning outside. I mean, you get a better view, but you get a really good view of somebody spears off and uh, right to right. Mm -hmm. At the front, the leaders, still over halfway now, Koskan Irfan, Oliver Greenall, first and second. Then it's McLean third. Smith is fourth. Make that about to be third as he sticks his nose at the inside, going to the Fullerton S's and takes third place away. Greenall passes Irfan. Smith now third into the Mike Wilson complex, in fact. Yeah, it's uh, Greenall that red and, first red and white liveried cart in your picture. Chasing very bright number 12 of new race leader Koskan Irfan. Smith pushing them along. You can see that's what I mean by slipstream in drafting. You can see Sonny Smith was just pushing, pushing, pushing. 12 wheels working together. Faster than four wheels working on their own. Behrman now with a new fastest lap. 68.07 from Oliver Behrman. And he now moves back into the top four. Make that the top three. As we have a new leader, Oliver Greenall. So two Virtus Motorsport drivers, second and third. No, make that first and third because Irfan comes back at him. Oh, and uh, the back of the back there, Ellingham just squeezes Sonny Smith wide and Smith then loses another place to, I think that was the number 54 of Daniel Ginchard or the, no, it was the 74 of uh, Theo McCouris. So Theo McCouris, the, uh, another privateer driver from Flitwick who qualified on the front row of the grid yesterday. That he was pole position yesterday. He's third in the intermediate standings and he's staying in the top eight now. Gre Oliver Gray in the number 63 is there and Sonny Smith has dropped all the way back to 11th place. So he got some muck on his tyres and he's fallen back. But you see, 11th place is terrible. Well, look at the field coming through the banking there on your screens. There's 15 carts in the same picture frame. We've got two and a half minutes to go, and that's a long time in cadet Honda racing, especially at Kartmasters. Sandro Ballesteros uh, has retired as Oliver Behrman takes the lead. So Sandro Ballesteros in the number 19 cart, the Project One drive from Rochdale. He is out of the race, and uh, Sandro had a, he was 27th in this race last year. Well, he's going to improve on that this year because he's only 25 in the field, but still. Not a great cart master so far. He's finished 25th in both his races yesterday, and now he is destined to finish 24th here. Aston Miller has also had a problem. He's down in 23rd, as has Luke Weston. And Alfie Rigby is down to 21st. So, so Rigby and Miller, who were in the top seven in the point standings, are down outside the top 20 in this race. Behrman Lee. On lap eight, as you can see on your screens, behind the banking, the skies are darkening. There's sunshine over the circuit. Don't think it's going to be a case of if we get any rain. It's going to be a case of when the rain arrives, who will be on track, how heavy will it be, and how quickly will it dry? Because this circuit does dry quickly. Thursday testing, it was wet, dry, wet, dry, because the wind was so great. Well, the wind isn't a factor today as much as it has been. Here are the leaders coming up the short shoot now with just over a minute to go. Behrman, Irfan, and then it is McLean, Ellingham, and Greenall, the top five. They've got a gap over McCorris and Ginchard. And it's just as you were yesterday with Behrman leading, being pushed along by his teammate, Irfan. The problem is, though, is they've got two teammates now behind them. The Global Karting 76 and the Global Karting the O plate of McLean and Ellingham, who... Got a similar plan to the Virtus drivers. 
Greenall in fifth position. Then it is McCurris, 30 seconds to go. Next time around, they'll get their last lap board. And uh, Damien Leopanis uh, is heading towards the business end of this race, but I wonder if uh, the Virtus Motorsport driver, Coach Billy Munger, is uh, around this weekend. He's doing a lot of work with the Virtus team, and uh, despite his uh, injuries, he's back in crust. Probably planning his racing comeback, and especially his after the car. And if Billy's watching at home, and uh, I'm sure everyone in the paddock still wishes you well, and is uh, very pleased that you're back involved in racing. And can't wait to see you back in a race at the very highest level very soon. Of course, Billy Nunger used to race a cadet Honda. Not too bad, actually. Here we go, though. Well, the Virtus Motorsport drivers have been split as they start their final lap. Behrman has got some breathing space, but watch how McLean and Ellingham just eat into that clean air between Behrman and themselves as they work together. And it's already that 10 cart length lead. It was half a second at the start-finish line. It's nothing as they enter the Litchfield Bridge. And it'll be even less than nothing when they get to the bottom of this hill. Sonny Smith sets a new fastest lap, 67.85. He's back into ninth place. Here we go, and round the outside. Oh my, with Koska Nerfen, he lands with high, wide, and handsome, goes from fourth to first on the outside line, and he's still just taking his normal racing line. Well, Behrman's busy defending. Irfan has just taken the normal line and has swept through into the lead. The two global karting entries have been Shuffle back to third and fourth, and Behrman looking over his shoulder. I think Oliver Behrman has decided that thou shalt not pass, Mr. McLean. Ellingham in fourth, Green over. Kosk and Irfan, well, he's one of the drivers doing double duty this weekend, and he has just taken his second win of the weekend in Cadet Honda. And all oh, this carts flying across the line, two and three wide. As they finish the race. So it's Irfan, Behrman, McLean, Ellingham, Oliver Greenall in fifth, then Theo McCurris is sixth, Ginchard is seventh, Sonny Smith eighth, then it is Harvey Charter in ninth, and Archie Brown rounds out the top ten ahead of Justin Bruard, Zach Walters, Oliver Gray, and Kyle Casibanti with Declan Russell rounding out the top fifteen. And poor result for a couple of drivers, Alfie Rigby especially, so a 23rd place finish for Alfie. He will not still be in second place in the in, in the point standings with one heat to go. And the track is getting cloudier. The dark clouds are heading our way. And we have got how many races? Two for two for six races to go before lunch.